Hello all you magical folk, welcome back to my channel. I hope we're all keeping safe and well. Today we have the very last unboxing, I believe, of 2020. I wasn't sure when this thing was going to arrive. I know the postal system is really, really backed up at the moment. So I really did think I was going to have to wait an awful long time to get hold of this. The Geek Gear December has arrived. I'm very, very impressed. I'm very, very excited. Yeah, let's see what the last box of Geek Gear for this year has to offer. Don't forget, if you are new and you haven't done already, then please hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community. Don't forget to do the notification bells on as well to be notified every time I upload a video. And you can always go and check me out on my social media. Big shout out to my patrons as well. You guys are amazing. I love you so much. If you are interested in joining us on Patreon, then the link will be in the description down below. You can go and check it out. Okay, so December's Geek Gear Wizardry Box, the last box of 2020. I'm very, very excited. The hints are thus follows. There they are. So we have the headmaster's door or office or something along those lines. We have some sherbet lemons and we also have an hourglass, which I'm really hoping is something to do with Slughorn. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm hoping for. That's what my mind instantly went to. Very, very excited. If not, I'm thinking maybe some kind of aging potion. We'll see. I don't know. But yes, December's Geek Gear Wizardry Box. As always, I will give you guys a sneak peek. Ooh, t-shirt on top. Let's see what you are. Ooh, this looks cool. Oh, okay. So I can instantly see this is the first hint. So this is obviously Dumbledore's office on a t-shirt. How cool is that? I actually really like that. The colours are very... Um, I mean, it's very orange and yellow. I don't remember it being quite this vibrant in the films. But I don't dislike it. I think it's a really, really cool t-shirt. I think it's just a bit like, wah, in your face. But I do like the t-shirt. I really like the design. I do like the colours, despite it being a very, very vibrant kind of colours. I do like it. So yeah, that's really, really nice. I enjoy this design. Ooh, I'm seeing oh, a wand box in here. I'm going to pop that to one side. We'll leave the wand for the moment. I can also see a little box that looks like a chess piece. Do we have another chess piece? Obviously, we have another chess piece and being daft, but you know, we'll keep the suspense going. So let's see what this one is. Pop him on out. Ooh, it's, um, I think, is this the king? I could be wrong. Is this the king? It's the really sinister one that kind of stabs Ron when he's on like the night horse. This one always like gave me like nightmares when I first watched the film. I was like, this dude is going to come for us all. I'm telling you now, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling out there. This dude will have us all. <laughs> but yeah, I really do like the piece. I think it's really sinister looking just like the film. He goes lovely with the rest of the pieces that we have. Yeah, very, very pleased with him. Oh my God, I see a pin. Oh my God, you know what, right? I've been really treated with pins lately. I've gotten a lot of pins very recently and they've all been stunning, not just from subscription boxes. I've bought some pins as well from pin sellers and yeah, they've been amazing, but I've just spotted this pin. Oh wow, this is so pretty, but I don't know what it is. That's weird. Oh, okay, and we've got some symbols on the back of the backing card. So that's the Azkaban, no, it's not Azkaban, it's the... um. Oh, it's on Sirius's wand. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Is this the Black Family Arms? Is that what that is? I don't know. I'm missing the reference. Can you guys tell me the reference to this pin? It's beautiful. I really love it. It's actually really, really lovely. But yeah, I'm not 100% sure. I'm thinking something to do with the Black Family, but I've been known to be wrong once or twice before. So yeah, what do we think of this, guys? It's really shiny. I really like it. And I am thinking it's got to be something to do with the Black Family. And you can just see on the back of the backing card there, um, like silver foil is the symbols again. I'm almost certain this is running down Sirius's wand. Um, but yeah, again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I really like that pin. It's really, really lovely. Okay, I'm going to go for this month's charm, the last charm for our charm bracelet. And this one is a flying key. This is really sweet. I love this. Oh, this is so lovely. So I'll quickly show you the flying key charm. Look how cute that is. That's really delicate and really pretty. I love that. It's really, really cute. And yeah, what a great way to end our monthly bracelet charms. These are really, really pretty. I've really, really loved and really enjoyed the bracelets. I wonder what next year's thing is going to be because obviously last year we had tea. I think the year before that was recipes and obviously this year we've had the bracelet thing. So I'm really, really curious to see what they come up with for next year because, 
Oh, it could be anything. So let's have a look what we have next. So I'm seeing a box. Uh, oh, I have another box. Oh, this has lemons on it, this box. This is a very pretty box. I do like this box. So this has to be something to do with the Sherbet Lemons. So let's see what we have in here. What are you? Oh, this is cute. We have a little a board sign that has Sherbet Lemons on here. So it says Sherbet Lemons Bewitching Bursts of Citrus. Oh my God. That's so cute. I really, really like that. It feels really lovely as well, like a really good quality. This is so cool. I really like that. This is very similar as well to the one they had in the uh, Halloween box. Sadly, I missed out on. I know they had like the pumpkin, was it pumpkin pasties they had on a sign like this? And I thought it was really, really cute. So yeah, I'm kind of glad now that I've got my own kind of version with the Shib Lemons. I really, really like that. It's really cool. Okay, we'll go for this box next. This has an hourglass on it. I'm very, very excited. Oh, please tell me this is going to be a miniature Slughorn Hourglass. I'm going to cry if it is. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh my God. Only my dogs could hear me then. Oh my God. Oh my God. It actually has running sand. I'm shook. This is, oh my God, that is literally beautiful. They've done such an amazing job with that. It is literally like they've taken the one out of Noble Collection and just shrunk it down and given it to us. That is beautiful. Oh my God, you guys, geek you. What are you doing to me? This is insane. I'm so impressed with this. The fact that it actually works, that it's running uh, hourglass as well. Oh my God. How long does this run for? Can I use it as an egg timer? <laughs> what can I do with this other than time my kids for time out with <laughs> Slughorn's hourglass? That is absolutely amazing. Unbelievable. So beautiful. Wow. Yeah, I'm I'm shook. I'm, I'm just going to go and sit in a corner and get over that because that is amazing. I can't believe we've actually got a miniature version of Slughorn's Hourglass. I was really, really hoping and praying that that would be the case, but actually seeing it in its true little miniature form. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't get over it. Okay. Let's see what else we have in the box. Okay. Oh, we have the wand card there. I don't want to see the wand card because I don't want to know what's in it yet. I haven't opened it. We're going to go for the scratch card next. Let's see if my luck will change for the last box of the year because so far every single time has been a no win for me which is fine oh no win okay let's have a look what else we have in here i'm seeing a print at the bottom let's get you out and then we'll do the wand we have no cheat sheet again hmm Maybe they didn't arrive in time. Because last time we didn't have a cheat sheet, they didn't arrive in time to be shipped out with the boxes. Or maybe they've just forgotten it. Either way, it's not a major issue. But I like to see that I've got everything. I like to see that everything's in my box. And yeah, sometimes I like to see the little hints and things. So it's always fun to get the cheat sheets. But never mind. This, however, is a really lovely print. It is a licensed and exclusive to Geek Gear. And yeah, this is a really lovely print of Luna Lovegood. So obviously we can see here with her spectrus back, she's got her uh, copies of the Quibbler and it says Luna Lovegood in all these lovely colours over here as well. That is actually really nice. It does say Harry Potter along the bottom. And this is actually something that potentially I would put up. I'm not going to lie. It's really, really nice. I do like that very much. Okay, so we do just have the wand last. So I'm going to go ahead and open this on up. Let's see what you are. Ooh, oh, this is beautiful. Ooh, I like this very much. Oh, wow. This is really unique, actually. Wow. Wow. What a job they've done with this. So look at that. We've got like this. Um, it always reminds me of like crowns. You know, like you see like cartoony kind of looking crowns. They've always got like the things inside of the crown, like the velvety thing. I don't know what it's called, but that kind of looks what that is. And then we've got this silver part running all the way down and then the end kind of looks like an ice blast that's really cool that's something that i've not ever seen the tip of a wand being so unique and so like sort of thought out that is really really pretty it's got this really lovely blue and silvery sheen to it obviously then we've got the silver running around the wand itself 
yeah this is a beautiful wand i don't know if like geek gear have designed this particularly or if there's like because obviously i know that they do um like subscribers can submit designs i have done myself i've had two designs that i've submitted submitted and both of those designs did get chosen to be turned into real wands and i was really really like chuffed about those and i do have videos so if you want to go and check out the wands that i designed i will either put the link up here or if you just go back into one of my unboxing videos you'll see it on there so yeah but this is actually really really pretty i really like this wand so let's have a look at the card that comes with it and see what this is okay so it doesn't have a designer name on here so this must be something that the uh, people at Geek Gear have actually designed. This is gorgeous. I love it. So it's called the Regalia Wand. Regalia Wand. However you pronounce that. Uh, this is 13 and 3 quarter inches. It is a ruby dust core and ebony wood. Yeah, that's beautiful. I really, really like that wand. That is so cool. And I do love like the ice blasty bit at the end. That's really, really cool. I love it. So yeah, that was everything in December's Geek Gear Wizardry box, the last box of 2020. I cannot wait to see what they bring out in 2021. This box was really, really strong as well. They did a really good job. What a great way to end 2020 for Geek Gear. This is just brilliant. Um, favourite items and least favourite items. This is going to be really tricky actually this month because, wow, um... I think obviously the best item is going to have to go to the Slughorn Hourglass replica. This thing is just crazy beautiful. It's so, so pretty. Yeah, the fact that it runs and works as well is absolutely amazing. Um, anything I can choose as a least favourite? I don't think I can, to be honest. Um, I would have liked to know known exactly what this is. Obviously, I didn't get a cheat sheet to kind of confirm that. Um, so I would like to know what this is in reference to. Can you guys confirm if this is like the Black Family Arms? It has birds on here. Are they blackbirds? Am I, <laughs> I don't know exactly, but that's what I'm thinking that that is. I hope I'm right. Um, a least favourite item? No, I can't pick one. No, I, I'm, I'm not even going to try and pick one because everything was really, really strong in this box. This was a really strong box overall. And yeah, I'm really, really pleased with it. Thank you so much to Geek Gear for all the hard work you've done this year. I know there was a bit of a wobbly period in the middle when the whole COVID situation first kind of reared its ugly head. But you guys have come back with a bang and I'm really, really impressed. And yeah, just keep it up. I'm just really, really excited to see what happens in 2021. Don't forget guys, if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a magical thumbs up for me so that you know. Don't forget as well to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done already to become part of my little magical community and turn on the notification bells as well to be notified every time I upload a video and I will see you very soon in the next one. Happy New Year guys, love you so much, bye!